My name is Richard Udo. I got to know God's servant that has gone to glory now many, many years ago. I met him one-on-one -on -one the first time in 1978. And later, as my pastor, I was then a cadet crusader. I moved from cadet crusaders to uh, junior high, senior high, and so on. So you will know that uh, there have been some time. And he was my pastor all through this period. Up to the time I moved to the University of Ibadan to study in the higher institution. My choice, of course, eventually was also influenced by my relationship with him and his person. I read veterinary medicine today because my pastor then was a veterinary doctor and he was such a beautiful influence and a great servant of God to relate with. He taught me Christian living. Yeah, I learned to grow. I learned to read my Bible, to pray, evangelize as I see him minister. I desire at times to even speak like him. It's just that uh, some of the big nuances were not coming, but I learned so much from him. Uh, in terms of uh, professional competence, he was a man that knew his onions. There are times even as a fresh graduate and I stand to speak with him, some of the things he talks about were things I have to go back and check again. You will see that this is a man that had a command of his profession. He's been there to teach me. He's been there to correct me. He's been there to give me direction. As a matter of fact, I don't know of any major decision in my life I've taken today that God's servant, uh, our dearly departed father, Dr. Wilson Barajo, has not made an impact. I got into ministry today as a result of the glory that I saw in him. In fact, uh, when he came around to First Act District that I was under at that time, he sent for me through my pastor and when I went to meet him, he shared with me the vision of planting churches and uh, something I was not initially interested in. I really got hooked in it. And uh, after the 16 weeks of training and the impartation services that he released us as eagles to go and plant churches. I thank God that I went through that training. I thank God that I went through that impartation service. And of course, the guidance, the protection, and uh, the nursery corrections all the way that he has been to me. He's been there. Even in times of my darkest hours in life, uh, he's been there all along with me. Today, by the grace of God, uh, I've gotten to, by his grace, plant some churches, oversee a number of ministers, and by the grace of God, some of those churches, one of them has become a district headquarters church today, and uh, others have grown in different ways. Uh, in fact, two of them, as a matter of fact, are now district headquarters churches. And I'm glad because I had the opportunity to be under his teaching, under his influence, under his direction. I am saddened by the fact that he has departed at this time. But we thank God because uh, it has pleased everyone to call him home. And I say, sleep on, gallant soldier of the Lamb. We trust God that the family that you have left behind, the hands of the Lord will continue upon them. And your influence will still be felt on every one member of the family. Uh, within the immediate family and the larger family of the Badagers and of course your sons and daughters out there by the grace of God will carry the torch and with God's hands upon our lives we will run with it and commit to faithful men who will also teach others. Sleep well, servant of the Lord. God bless you. Amen.